Hey everybody, Dave here, hope you're having an awesome day. So, I just built this guy and it turned out pretty cool, but the build definitely took a turn and it went in a different direction. I originally was going to use this little cap that is um, from a seasoning bottle and I thought this was kind of cool and would make a neat little head, so this is where I started, but my ideas changed pretty quickly once I got into the build, so come on, let's check out the build. <laughs> Okay, so this is Reaper from Overwatch, and I got this toy on clearance for two or three bucks, brand new, so um, great articulation, I think it's going to work, and I was looking at this cap here, I thought this could make kind of a cool little head, so I thought maybe on this action figure I could do something with this, so this is kind of where I started. So first things first, I got to pop off his head here, so just put it in boiling hot water, that really softens up the uh, plastic there and then the parts just pop right off, so that's pretty great. Now I'm cutting off these little pieces here because originally I was going to paint it, but spray painting always gives me a little bit of trouble, so I thought I might dye this. I have seen a couple guys on Instagram dyeing toys, and so I thought I might try that, so I'm just cutting off all these little pieces that I don't think I really need to dye and I'll glue those back on. So. Before I dye it, I do want to clean off some of these um, little decals here. So I got out my uh, nail polish remover, and this normally takes off paint and stuff off of toys pretty easily. So I was getting there and I <laughs> spilled it all over. And uh, I was able to clean it off of my mat pretty quick. But uh, as I was um, cleaning off the toy, I didn't realize that there was a good pool of nail polish remover that was laying on the back side of it so it kind of started eating away at the plastic and melting it and you'll see here in just a second after I wiped this off my finger started sticking to the back and I was like oh boy so I wiped it off best I could but it ended up being like a little bit of battle damage so no big deal <laughs> move on right so I did equal parts um, water and dye, the RIT dye, and I'm using the synthetic, um, and then the synthetic worked pretty great. So what I did was um, I did it on a low boil, so I didn't do high, and I just kept turning it, and I stood there and kind of babied this thing the whole time because I didn't want the parts to melt in the pan. So after about 45 minutes to an hour, um, I got a pretty good result. I, I think it turned out pretty great. I did continually move the joints back and forth so everything was covered. So now that that's done, I'm looking at the lid here and I was thinking like how do I how do I fill this head out? And so I was playing with little guns and turrets and Gundam parts. I thought maybe like a little face like that, eh, that's kind of weird. Um no, that doesn't work. Maybe for the neck, I was thinking, maybe something like that. So this is kind of a tough part for me. I always struggle with, like, I have so many cool little bits, but finding the perfect ones to to make or create the head that you're wanting to make can really be a challenge. So um, I'm kind of just digging around and looking at these different parts, and there's some cool things here. Like, I was thinking maybe if I cut off these missiles, that's a cool little thing for the head there but I found this uh, Boba Fett it's like a slave one backpack kind of thing it's a it's one of these Hasbro mini toys um, so it was like this miniature uh, slave one that the wings would fit in that hole um, so I thought hmm this is kind of interesting and I think I might try that so I just started snipping parts off I wanted it to lay flat on the head there and I see there's a little bit of the um, gap of the plastic there, so I need to remove that. Um, so I started trimming some of that away with a knife. I realized that there's a lot here to take away, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get out my Dremel tool and we'll just grind this thing down. So I, I just took off a lot of material with the Dremel really fast. And that's looking pretty cool, but then the more I thought about it, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. It might not be quite right. I actually like it almost like this weird little like fish head or so almost I, I I don't know it it kind of reminds me of 
uh, Admiral, what was it, Admiral Akbar on Star Wars? Is that his name? The, the fish guy with the big eyeballs? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if I messed that up. I think that's what his name is. But um, So anyways, yeah, I found this. Uh, this is actually from a Bionicle Star Wars kit. So I'm going to trim these pieces off here, sand that down flat, get this piece off here, and I think... I'll be able to do something pretty cool with the neck here. I've got an idea in my head, so I'm just trimming this down. That's looking pretty cool. So I drilled a hole through here, and I thought, this might work. So I popped it through, but once it went all the way through, it was like loosey-goosey, and I thought, oh, the head's going to be wobbling all over the place. So I was thinking, maybe magnets, or do I just glue that in place? But then it can only move up and down. I won't be able to move it left and right. So then I remembered I have the original head, so I thought, I wonder if I can trim this head down enough where I can use that socket and maybe place the head on the inside of this little bionicle foot. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off his face. And what I'm trying to do is get this as low profile as possible just so I can use the socket. So I think <laughs> this may actually work. So um, I put it in boiling water and popped the head on. And sure enough, I just did a quick little dry fit, and yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay, I'm using my BSI Instacure Plus. I use the medium gap fill. I, I love this stuff. It is my favorite glue. So I'm um, just aligning the hole there. And once I get that all aligned, I actually took a little bit of more glue and um, put it in the inside, and then I did some hot glue to just re reinforce that. Now I'm taking... A uh, little poker here and some heat and I'm gonna open up these holes in the little cannons here because I think it's just gonna make it look a little bit cooler so yeah I think that worked out pretty great you gotta blow out the candle that's always fun all right you can see I got some hot glue in there as well that just is gonna help secure that head in because I'm gonna have to push that head on later so I don't want it flying off so put my glue on there I'm just kind of lining this up I gave him a little bit of an underbite so his lip sticks out just a little bit underneath. I think it's kind of cool. Found this little Gundam piece here, and I think that'll fill the hole on the back of that foot there that I'm using for the bottom of the head. And I think I'm going to trim that off and maybe run a little, put a little hole through there and put a wire in there. I think that might be kind of cool. So got out my Dremel, just pop popped one little hole through there, got a little piece of wire and popped out a screen there for a sec but there we go so i think i'm just going to run the wire from there up into the back of the head i don't think i'm going to do anything super crazy so get another little hole drilled here and there we go i think that's going to look pretty cool i'm not going to glue that in just yet i'll do it after i paint everything so uh, put some eyes on these are some little vents that i had from a uh, gundam kit as well and i think those are going to make some pretty nice eyes. I kind of played with the different angles and looking at it different ways, but I think straight up and down is kind of cool. So there we go. Got both eyes on there. And let's go paint this thing silver. Okay, all painted out silver. And I'm going to do some metallic, or I'm going to do some washes on it and some paint jobs. But first off, check this out. Final Faction, Cyber Arms, really? This is amazing. So I saw this little claw and I was like, I have got to use this claw on this guy. But I want the hand to be able to still adjust and move. So I think I'm going to try and steal the joint from this hand and modify this. I think I, think I have an idea how to do this. All right, so first I'm going to do is just trim all this off, the excess peg. And then I'm going to cut all this extra piece of the hand off. It's kind of a bummer because this is a really nice hand, but I really want this socket joint so I can move that claw up and down and left and right. So here I'm just trimming off the hand, and I'm trying to get as close as I can to the um, edge of that socket without ruining that socket. So there we go. Okay, with the Dremel, I'm just going to notch it out, and I should be able to slide that piece in. 
but my battery died so of course I'm gonna let my battery charge and I'll just start <laughs> doing some painting what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint out all the armor that was originally silver um, after I dyed it it kind of went black obviously so I'm gonna go in here and just repaint all this silver I'm just using some Citadel uh, I think it's called iron iron something anyways it's just a light silver metallic from Citadel so just kind of carefully painting all this on and we'll go through I'm gonna do the front the back and then I'm gonna do the knees and a little bit on the boot and then here's the head I already did one little pass of my Citadel Nuln oil that's the wash and I thought it might be interesting if I paint a couple of these little panels or little areas black so it's not just a silver head so I'm painting the little vent um, painted the little panels around the eyes I thought that was kind of interesting um, I ended up painting underneath the eye as well black um, I didn't get that on video but so here I am just kind of carefully painting these different panels and then once I get this painted, I'm going to kind of jump around and looking around at different panels on it thinking, okay, what if I just did this little back panel here? That could be kind of cool. I'll jump over to the other side and, and just mirror what I'm doing on this side. And then once I get this done, I'm going to do a little bit of weathering on the edges here. I'm just taking a little bit of that silver, a, a little tiny brush, and just kind of nicking the edges there to make it look like it has some little wear and tear on the paint. I like doing this on a lot of my projects. It's actually, it gives it kind of a cool effect. I also did a little bit of dry brushing on that big black area in the middle. And so there's kind of a shot of the knees and all the armor. The head is painted up. That's looking pretty great. So I'm really liking how this is coming. So there's that notch in the hand that I was talking about. And there's the little peg from the other hand. That's looking great. I'm going to glue this together. Once I got this glued together, I think I'm going to spray paint this hand silver, do a little wash on it, and we're going to wrap this thing up. So, awesome. This is fun. Okay, that was a really fun build. And even though it wasn't exactly what I originally thought, that's sometimes the joy of doing these builds is things take a turn and you get something totally different, but... In the end, it's kind of cool. So let's do some turnaround shots of this thing. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. And as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a good one.